This is a piece of silly putty. So it has some properties that make it like a solid, but it also has properties that make it like a liquid. So what happens to the silly putty when I drop it? Well, it bounces back up to my hand. So over short times, it behaves like a solid. But I can also take the silly putty and I could start to stretch it out like taffy. And if I stretch it out slowly, it'll just keep stretching as long as I'm pulling it. But now let's say I take the same silly putty and I pull it quickly. In that case, it snaps. Oh. Silly putty, like all polymers, behaves differently over different time scales, whether you're looking at something that's a long stretch or something that's a short stretch. And in fact, I could take these two edges and I could push them back together and I could start to pull on it again and it doesn't break. It behaves as if that break never happened. And so what we're gonna demonstrate here, and we're gonna break it up into balls, and we're gonna hit it with a hammer. So what do you think is gonna happen? It's shatter. What do you think would happen if you took an ice cube and you hit it with a hammer? Well, it would probably do the same thing. But could you take an ice cube and form it into a ball and have it be a nice rubbery ball that bounces and then stretch it out? I certainly would not be able to do that with ice, but this is something we can do with polymers. One thing you notice with what we just did here is that we hit the silly putty with a hammer and the silly putty shattered, but you see that nothing happened to the piece of plastic that was below it. This is similar to what happens with your bicycle helmet. Helmets for bicycles are designed so that if you have an accident, the helmet breaks apart. Or the bicycle helmet absorbs all of the impact, in this case from the hammer, and none of it goes to your head so that all of the impact from the crash goes into the helmet and not into your head, which is how it protects you. have a regular silly putty ball at room temperature and one that we've frozen in liquid nitrogen. So you see it's uh, very cold. You could do this by putting the silly putty in your freezer. If you bounce the two, you notice they sound and bounce quite a bit different. So here we're dropping the frozen silly putty ball. Now you can hear the difference in the two balls. One glassy and one rubbery. And this is due to the decrease in temperature where it goes from being rubbery like a bouncy ball to being hard like a glass ball. <laughs>